Take an adventure with us Take an adventure with us While we were in Key West, we reached out to the Hemingway Rum Company. And while Papa's Pilar Rum always offers free tastings and tours, they invited us to join one of their cocktail classes. We were so excited to learn more about their rums and how to make some Key West style cocktails. By the way, all the recipes are in the description below. Take an adventure, take an adventure, take an adventure with us. We are blending the rum go, and that's simply me. The blonde has six different rums in it, has six different ages. The dark has nine different rums and nine different ages. Both rums start with fresh, meaning right off of the still. The Ellison and the blonde is actually seven years old aged in oak. The dark with nine rums, the Ellison Hat is 23 years old aged in oak. You get these eight drums and you gotta blend them together so you can do it in different barrels. And some of our barrels are missing, but the top two rows are actually Kentucky bourbon barrels. That's American white oak. This is a row of Ruby Port from Portugal. That's French white oak. And then the final finishing cask at the bottom are Coloroso Sherry from Spain. It's American white oak, which just comes from a different side of the country. So visualize this as a waterfall if I have our barrel over there. What happens is I'll take the youngest from and throw it into the top barrels and sit there for a while. So eventually we'll get the profile of the wood. When it is ready, you actually spin the barrel and you dump it into the one below. That's where you're gonna add older rum in every time. Bourbons down into the port, older rum, and then finally into your sherry cask where the Elvis blends through. And that's essentially what Solera means. It means from a barrel. You wanna be able to get all of its notes you'll be able to taste its sweetness without the sugar. It kind of smells like brown sugar, is what I hear a lot. But again, guys, think about it. You throw that on the rocks, you've got yourself a nice, pure drink. Another thing is old fashions. We would never think to do that with a spiced rum in our country, something like that. You do it with this, you need the orange, the bitters, you need a great cherry, and that's all you need, the ice on top of that, right? Now you've got it. It doesn't need the sugar to it at all because it has such a sweet tone. Guys, when you go to Fantasy Fest or you go to Mardi Gras, y'all know how to get beads, right? You're supposed to be showing your dirty bits, right? We're not gonna do that, at least not until the second drink, all right? When you go to New Orleans and you go to Mardi Gras on the very first day, and this is an old, um, something they used to do. If you ask the bartender for a simple drink, they actually give you your first set of beats. Nowadays, they've stopped that because it's easier to show everything off, right? But that drink was actually called a New Orleans Kiss. It's a very sweet drink, um, but I changed it up a little bit. This is gonna be nice and light, and it's very easy to make because it's just a few ingredients. So, guys, get your shakers in front of you, and you're gonna pop the tops off of yours. Mine doesn't have one because I didn't have enough. Minnie is gonna come by and give you ice in there, but we will go ahead and fill our shaker up with what we've got with COVID, guys. I had to pre-measure everything. So these containers in front of you, I want you to grab that first yellow one. That is two ounces of a pineapple juice. And go ahead and dump that into your shaker. Now, your next one, guys, that little brown liquid, that is a half an ounce of amaretto. And if you're not sure what amaretto is, guys, that is uh, an almond flavored liqueur. I don't usually like to use a whole lot of sweetener, but this does take a little bit. And theory in life is this, if you're gonna use a sweetener, try to use a liqueur because it has more alcohol in it, right? So why not? So go ahead and dump that in there. Now, this is where Mardi Gras in New Orleans may have started it, but Key West will take the crown back. Cause my friends, you're not getting one shot, you're getting two full shots of blonde rum to put into your shaker, so. Take the very top part off, right? That's gonna release some pressure because the goal is actually for you to get the entire uh, top of the shaker off. So pop the second part off too. There you go. If you can't, guys, some of them are stubborn and I can help you out. You got the stubborn one. <laughs> because guys, you wanna put all of this in your glass. You want the ice and all. Oh. 
There you go, guys. Try your kiss. It's nice and frothy. Y'all did a very good job on the shake. Listen. Right, it's a free drink. Right. <laughs> They're dangerous, right? But it's not overly sweet like most rum drinks, right? It's just got the pineapple. Mm -hmm. People say you can't taste the rum, but if you taste the vanilla, you're actually tasting the rum, right? I want it to be able to shine through there a little bit. If you ever go to Mardi Gras, my friends, you gotta go to one place. You gotta go to a bar called Pat O'Brien's. Now, Pat O'Brien is the creator of the hurricane. When I created this, guys, it's completely different. Tried to use as fresh and natural as I possibly could. And this is actually not a very sweet drink. It's a little more tart than it is sweet. So if you've had a bad day on a hurricane, let's give it a try. First container I want you to use is that bright yellow one. That is two ounces of fresh orange juice. So go ahead and dump that into your container. That next one yellow, that pale yellow one, guys, that's two ounces of passion fruit juice. Now this next one, guys, does anyone know what that is? It is grenadine. Usually people say jello shot. It is not a jello shot. All right? Now, I don't typically like to use grenadine. It's up to you. Two reasons I do. You're going to see why this needs a little bit sweetener and a hurricane is red. So this is less than half an ounce of grenadine. If you don't want to use it or you don't want to use it all, don't put it in. Also, this next one is optional, but I am I think this is what truly gives it balance. That is a half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. So, if you don't like lime juice, I, I'm afraid of you. But here's where the storm comes, guys. You're not getting one shot of blonde, two shots of blonde, and two full shots of dark rum. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, 3.8. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, Stanley. Uh-oh, I missed a little. I think I'm missing Dump it right in there without your ice, guys. <laughs> there, would be, there would be room in the glass for you. Right? It is a pretty pink drink, right? Okay. We have a sticker. Here are uh, the two recipes. In the back is my card. If you need anything, and, uh, while last but not least. all you have to do is let me know. Don't worry about uh, what time, because anything after midnight, I afford to him. I don't really care. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a great class. I highly recommend it. Come, you're in Key West. Come check out Lars. Uh, Ask with Captain Kurt. Wait, I have a different question. Do we get a go? There you go. The only thing that you should ever, ever mix a really good rum with. Rum. Woo! Another rum. It's that yeah, simple. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Remember, this rum is a blended rum. It's a blended so rum. Blend together. Okay. Ding ding.